how to create multiple dependent drop down lists in Excel. First of all, as the brand, I have tech or is no. If I select tech, I'm gonna have different items to choose jacket, dress, and coat. If I use coat, I'm gonna have different sizes to use of this item. And if I go to is no, that is the second brand that I have, I'm gonna have different items such as skirt and shoes. And if I choose shoes, I'm gonna have different sizes of shoes. But let's do one more test right here. As the brand, I want to go back to tech. And instead of using code, now I want to use jacket. And as the jacket, I'm gonna have different sizes. Maybe I can use here extra large. And if you go back here to the code, I also choose large. However, there is no such option like extra large. I just have here medium and large. So this is how we can create multiple dependent drop down lists in Excel. It's very easy to do and I'm gonna show you here a practical example as we can see here. So I have all the lists that I'm using and everything starts with the first list that is the brands. I can have either tech and is no, but let's say I choose tech as the brand, the yellow one. I can start first choosing a item from the tech brand, jacket, dress or coat. Let's say I choose here dress. So that way I am going to this list right here that corresponding to the dress. And that way I can choose a size for this specific dress. The same thing can be applied to different items or to different brands. Let's say now I keep up with snow and I can go to the snow lists and choose either skirt or shoes. But let's say I choose skirt. That way I can go to the skirt list and choose a size of the skirt that I need. So this is basically how this multiple dependency drop down list in Excel works. But of course, Excel is going to do all this work for us. We only going to need to set small things and then Excel is going to do all the work. So let's take a look in this practical example on how can we create this multiple dependent drop down list. Let's go. To get started with the drop down lists, I can first use the brands as the first list because those informations are the informations that are going to separate all the other lists. So let me go here to a blank column, or you can actually use a new sheet to separate if you want to separate the lists from the data set. But anyhow, I just want to use everything within the same sheet. So I want to have here brands, and as the brands, I'm gonna have either tech or is no. The first list that I need is already done tech or is no. That way I can go back here to the brands and create a list instead of manually typing the information. Uh, let me first select everything and get rid of those values. Let me select a couple of cells under the brand column uh, that I want to apply the first list and then data. To the right, I can use data validation. And instead of using any value, I can use list. And I can click in this up arrow and select both of those informations that I want to use. Now arrow and then click OK. That's it. Now we already have a simple list in Excel much easier than manually input the values. Well, let's say I just select here the tag brand. Now I want to have all the items options that are corresponding to the tag brand. Let me again go to a new column and here I'm going to have all the items for tag. Let's start with maybe just something simple. Jacket. I can also have dress. I can also have coat and on and on. Okay. I can have many items right here. And whenever I select the tag as the brand, I'm going to have either the options jacket, dress, or coat. How can I set this list? First of all, I need to select the options. You don't need to select the header because you don't want to include the header within the list. So just keep up with the, the, the options and then go here to the name box and call it tag. That is the list that generates this run. Now we can go back here to the items, select the, the range where you want to apply this new list and go to data and then data validation again. Instead of using any values, we can use list. But this time I want to create a dynamic list because let's say I select here tech. I'm going to have one type of list. But if I select is no, I'm going to have another type of list. So the list can change. That way I want to use the equal signs and then indirect open parentheses and I want to append here the cell that corresponds to the first brand that I have that is the cell B2 B2 close parentheses and then enter if I go to the items the first cell where I can 
choose the option. As we can see, now we have all the options that responding to the tech brand. And let's say I change here the brand to snow and I go back to the items. I can even click in the, in the list because we all, didn't get yet that is no brand items. So let me go back to tag and then let's say choose dress. But every time that I choose a item from the text list, I also gonna have another options such as the size. So this is what I, I need to create now. I'm gonna have here a size for jacket, sizes for dress and sizes for coat. As the jacket, I want to keep up with something simple such as small, medium, large and extra large. As the dress, maybe I can use the girth, diameter, the, the waist in inches, maybe 26, 28, 24. Let's use a couple of more numbers here just to make this list larger than the, the others. And as the coat, I can use medium and large. Okay, I think it's enough. And to make it easier to see, let's say I want to click here over the text cell and change the highlight to a yellow one. And all the other cells, I also want to highlight with yellow. That way, it's much easier to identify what all those lists are talking about, right? The tech. And let's do it all over again. If I am using here a jacket item for the tech brand, I'm going to need to name all those options in the name box as jacket. And the same will apply here for the dress and for the coat. So let's start with the jacket. Let's go here to the name box, jacket, enter, dress, select everything. It's going to be called dress, hit enter, and coat, coat, enter. Now let's do the same thing for the size column. Select the range where you want to apply the list, data, and then go to data validation. Any value to list. You must change, and as the source equal sign again, we need to create a dynamic list in the rack function. Open parentheses, and the cell that I want to use is the cell C2. And of course, uh, because we select a couple of rows, now we are using the cell C2. But in the next row, we're gonna have the cell C3, C4, C5, and on and on. Close parentheses, and then enter. Let's say tech dress and the size I have 26, 28, 30, 32 and on and on. But if I change the item to let's say jacket, I'm gonna have different options in the size, small, medium, large, extra large and on and on. Now we need to do the same thing for the snow because as we can see there is no such list that corresponding to snow yet. As the snow maybe we can use a different highlight, maybe a blue one. Yeah, I think this blue right here is okay. And now it's time to create the snow brand list. And I want to skip the column O just to separate the lists. And as there is no options, I can have maybe many different items. However, I just want to keep uh, this video short. So I want to use just one option right here, skirt. Let me select both of those values and change the color to the blue one. And as if I select the skirt, I'm going to have some skirt sizes, small and then medium, large, extra large, and double extra large double xl let me select everything and also change the color to the blue one and it's very important to do the same as we did before change the range name so is skirt i need to change to is no because it stands for the is no brand and then because we select skirt we can have all the skirt options so that way all those options is going to be called is skirt enter now let's check if everything is working I already got here the brand is no, so I can choose the item. Just one item that I'm gonna have is dirt. And I can use the choose the size, small, medium, large, extra large, and on and on. So this is how we can create multiple dependent drop down lists in Excel in a practical way. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.